Three weeks ago, Brianna Kay was called out for deceiving viewers. She was promoting a product on Instagram, a head and shoulders product that many people believe she does not use. She addresses the concern publicly. I was actually shocked by that. I was expecting her to just avoid, block, and delete but she did come out and make a statement. So today we're gonna hear what she had to say and I'll share my thoughts and opinions on her response. If you missed my video on Bree's Head & Shoulders sponsorship, I will link it at the end of this video. So go check it out next. When it comes to partners, I only partner with whether it's a good or a service if I use it myself, if I absolutely love it, or if it is something that I know people in our community need to know about or would find so useful. Okay, so she just gave us her two reasons for promoting a product or service. She has to use it herself and love it, or she has to feel like people in her community would find it useful. So somebody sent me a DM recently asking me, did you really use head and shoulders? I don't believe you because your hair is colored and you have hair extensions. As I discussed in the previous video I made about this head and shoulder sponsorship, using shampoos containing sulfates, parabens, and alcohol are awful for your extensions. Here are the products Brie promoted in her sponsorship with head and shoulders. They are not sulfate or paraben free. And I 100% like Bible swear to you guys, I was using head and shoulders. I even when Chrissy just did my hair like just over a week ago, it was like, hey, do you notice anything different about my hair? Like I've been using head and shoulders the last couple of washes. But she was like, oh yeah, your hair looks and feels great. She's using her hairdresser, Chrissy, to spin this narrative. And I hope her hairdresser is okay with this. I wanna show you these pictures. The picture on the right is Bree's actual hair, no extensions. Chrissy always takes a before picture. This was from Bree's most recent hair appointment. The picture on the left is from the previous hair appointment. And as you can tell from looking at this picture, her hair is breaking off. She has so many split ends, it looks damaged. Just looking at these two pictures, I would say the picture on the left, her hair looks better in that picture. It looks healthier in that picture, but she's referring to her hair on the right. The picture on the right is her most recent hair appointment picture, but Bree just said her hairdresser, Chrissy, told her her hair looks and feels great. That's an opinion, right? It's her hairdresser's opinion that her hair looks and feels great. But in my opinion, it doesn't. Compared to the last time she went to the hairdresser, her hair looks shorter, more damaged. She has more split ends. Now, I just wanna show you proof that these are recent pictures, you know. So I went to Chrissy's Instagram account. This is Brie. She always takes a before picture that was posted six days ago. That's the most recent picture. And then if you scroll down, this is Bree's previous hair appointment, which was back in December of 2022. So I wanted to show you Chrissy's Instagram account so you can see the dates for yourself. Here are the receipts. While we're here talking about Chrissy's Instagram pictures, I wanna point this out. The picture in the middle is the picture Chrissy posted on her Instagram account. Brie also posted it, but I believe this picture is Photoshopped. What do you think? The picture on the right is the before picture of Brie, before she got her hair done. The picture on the left is just a random picture Brie posted on Instagram. In my opinion, the picture in the middle, the picture Brie's hairdresser uses to promote her business is photoshopped. That's my opinion. And also in my opinion, I think it's very deceiving for hairdressers, for anyone to photoshop photos in order to promote their business or a product. Anyways, um, Head and Shoulders sent me particular bottles that they wanted me to use in the Instagram story and in the Instagram reel. She's spinning her narrative here. She's trying to play this down, but she's saying they sent her a specific bottle. Well, it's not a bottle. It's a product. And it's a product that you're promoting and it doesn't make sense because it's not good for the type of hair you have. And a lot of women that watch Brie also have hair extensions and color treated hair. And Brie did not make any type of disclaimer in the sponsorship. This disclaimer was made after the fact, after she was called out on her Instagram stories. So I'm sure a lot of her customers 
never saw this disclaimer because it wasn't posted with the sponsorship. It was posted after the fact in her stories. But if you have color treated hair or hair extensions, or you're just looking for sulfate free shampoos, there's head and shoulders that are sulfate free. This should have been mentioned somewhere in her ad, but it wasn't. So like I know, especially in the winter, like my scalp does get really dry. If you have darker roots, especially, and you have like any even little bit of dandruff, it's just like, ugh. so like I stand by it. I would never work with a brand again that I don't use and love myself or feel like our community needs to know about. And she posted a picture of the head and shoulders sulfate free paraben free shampoo, which is probably the shampoo she uses if she uses head and shoulders. She wrote on the stories, use the sulfate free kind if you have colored hair or extensions. That's all you needed to say, Brie. That's what you needed to say in your ad and you didn't do it. In my opinion, Brie misled her viewers. She made her viewers think she uses this product when actually she's stating, if you have hair extensions or color treated hair, you should be using a different product. But she didn't mention the sulfate free or paraben free shampoo and conditioner until after she was called out. I just, I don't understand why sometimes everything you say or do gets ripped apart and criticized when you're just trying to share something cool that's pretty innocuous. I don't know. But you're deceiving people. How can you expect people not to speak up when you're deceiving people? You're making people think you're using product A when actually you're using product B. Do you not see how that's deceiving? Influencers often come across as victims, but sometimes they're the ones lying, deceiving, scamming, manipulating their viewers, their customers. Brie just needed to add a simple disclosure to the sponsorship and none of this would have happened. She wasn't clear in these stories. She didn't specifically come right out and say, I use the sulfate free shampoo, but she did say, if you have extensions and color treated hair, you should use the sulfate free shampoo. So based on that information, I'm assuming she doesn't use the product she promoted, the regular head and shoulders. She probably uses the sulfate free if she even really uses head and shoulders. She said she does, but some viewers feel like this was not a genuine ad. That's why influencers have to be careful about what they promote and how often they're promoting things because you don't want to turn off your customers. You don't want to make your customers feel like you're just promoting things for a paycheck. A viewer sent me this comment. She's on stories defending her head and shoulders ad. She's claiming head and shoulders sent specific bottles they wanted her to use, proving she doesn't actually use it, right? She doesn't say she has other kinds they have and doesn't say she uses the sulfate free kind she's talking about in stories. Yeah, I agree with this. Brie was extremely vague, as always, and she never really said if she uses the regular head and shoulders or the sulfate free. This head and shoulder sponsorship was messy in my opinion, and it doesn't have to be that way. If you're an influencer, promote products you love and use, and there's no confusion. Also, put a disclaimer. If you need a disclaimer, put a disclaimer. If you haven't seen the video I made about Bree's head and shoulder sponsorship, go check it out next. I'll link it at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.